Did you know that Dove Chocolate is not sold in European countries under its American name? Instead, it's sold under the trade name Galaxy. Why? Watch the video until the end to find the reason. While exploring this beloved chocolate's history and manufacturing process. From sourcing cocoa and other raw materials, cocoa fermentation, drying, roasting, roll refining and conching, to the packaging of the blended and cooled ingredients in the form of hard chocolate, every step promises a quality experience for chocolate lovers. But how and where did this journey begin? In 1939, a Greek-American, Leo Stefanos, opened an ice cream shop, Dove Candies and Ice Cream, on a Chicago street corner. In 1956, when he saw his son Mike chasing an ice cream truck down a busy street one day, he promised himself to invent a delightful new ice cream. Under Leo's leadership, Dove Chocolate began to flourish, and as word spread about Dove Chocolate's unique taste, its popularity soared. Leo handed the business over to his son Mike in 1977, after 38 years of dedication. With his passion and expertise, he took the company to such heights that Mars Incorporated acquired the brand in 1986. Today, Dove Chocolate has become a household name, synonymous with luxury and quality. Large manufacturing facilities for Dove Chocolate are located in Chicago and Pennsylvania, USA, where chocolate is produced under strict guidelines by Mars Incorporated. The Chicago-based manufacturing plant has a long history itself. Dove candies and ice cream from a Chicago sweet shop arrived in the market. Although an American brand, Dove Chocolate, is sold in giant countries like the UK, Australia, India, Ireland, and the Middle East. It produces a large variety of chocolate products such as Dove Individuals, Dove Caramel, Dove Caramel Liaison, Dove Dark Peppermint Bar, Dove Milk Chocolate Large Bar, Dove sugar-free chocolates, Dove extra dark chocolate, Dove milk chocolate with almonds large bar, Dove milk chocolate and dark chocolate singles large bar, Dove dark chocolate singles bar, and Dove milk and dark chocolate miniatures. The company's annual revenue is 50.6 million. But what is the process behind Dove's chocolates that earns the company such a high revenue? When creating Dove chocolate, Mars Chocolate North America maintains the highest quality standards from bean to bar. And expert tasters taste the chocolate throughout the production process to ensure the highest quality chocolate. Step 1. Raw Material Sourcing Dove is committed to transparency in its sourcing practices. The company publishes a list of its suppliers on its website so that consumers can learn where the chocolate comes from. The chocolate making process begins with carefully selecting the finest cocoa beans from various tropical rainforests across the globe. The cocoa is farmed using agricultural practices that Mars Inc. is improving under its plant science research and its chocolate for generations approach. The Rainforest Alliance certified cocoa is traceable from the farms to the company's plant. After being harvested, collected, and opened by hand, the beans are dried and fermented. Dove chocolate contains around 10 to 30 percent cocoa content, depending on the recipe or batch. Milk and vanilla are also two vital ingredients of Dove chocolates. Dove sources its milk and vanilla from a variety of countries around the world, including the United States, Europe, and New Zealand. For its milk, Dove works with dairy farmers who use sustainable practices and treat their cows humanely. Dove's vanilla is sourced from Madagascar, one of the world's premier vanilla-producing regions. The vanilla beans are hand-picked and cured to ensure they have the best flavor. Step 2. Fermenting and Drying The drying and fermenting of cocoa takes about 5-7 to seven days. The beans are placed in a fermentation box and allowed to sit for 3-4 to four days. During this time, the beans are heated by the natural fermentation process, which helps to develop their flavor and aroma. After fermentation, the beans are removed from the box and spread out to dry. The drying process takes about two to three days. The beans are dried evenly to prevent mold growth. The fermentation and drying process helps develop the flavor and aroma of Dove chocolate. The fermentation helps to break down the beans' natural sugars, giving the chocolate its sweetness. Drying helps to concentrate the beans' flavors and aromas, making them more intense. The dried and fermented beans are bagged and shipped to Mars factories. Step 3. Quality Checking once the cocoa beans arrive at the Mars factories, they undergo an inspection twice by expert Mars associates to ensure they meet Dove's strict standards of quality and flavor. 
Any imperfect or damaged beans are removed, leaving only the best of the crop. Milk, vanilla, and other ingredients are also checked using strict quality standards. Step 4. Cleaning and winnowing. The cleaning and winnowing process is an important step in ensuring the quality of Dove chocolate. Impurities are removed in this process to ensure the beans have a consistent flavor. The beans are first stored according to weight and size. They are then passed through a series of screens to remove any impurities, such as dirt, stones, and other foreign objects. After the beans have been cleaned, their husks are separated by placing them in a winnowing machine that uses air currents for that purpose. Step 5. Roasting. The cocoa nibs achieved after winnowing are then roasted in a special machine called a roaster, which heats the nibs to a specific temperature for a fixed time. The roasting temperature and time vary depending on the chocolate's desired flavor profile. The darker roast will produce chocolate with a more intense flavor, while a lighter roast will produce a chocolate with a more delicate flavor. The nibs release their natural oils during roasting and give the chocolate its aroma. The type of cocoa beans, roasting temperature, and roasting time affect the roasting of the cocoa nibs. Criollo beans are known for their delicate flavor, while Foresto beans are known for their more intense flavor. A longer roasting time and high temperature produce a darker roasted nib with a more intense flavor. A shorter roasting time and lower temperature will produce a lighter roasted nib with a more delicate flavor. Step 6. Grinding. The roasted beans now move to a grinding machine that uses rotating blades to break down the nibs into a fine paste called coco liqueur, releasing the nibs natural oils and flavors. Step 7. Roll refining. Roll refining is a process that refines cocoa particles into micro particles to achieve a silky smooth texture in chocolate. The cocoa paste is passed into a series of rollers. The rollers are heated to a specific temperature for about 30 minutes to an hour, breaking the cocoa particles into smaller pieces. They rotate at a specific speed, hoping to distribute the heat evenly and to create a smooth texture. The cocoa paste is passed through the rollers several times until the particles are small enough to create a smooth texture. Step 8. Conching. The cocoa liqueur is now mixed with sugar, milk, and other carefully measured ingredients in a conching machine. This mixture is then ground and stirred continuously for eight or more hours, resulting in a smooth, silky texture and the development of the chocolate's signature flavor. Step 9. Tempering. Once the chocolate has been perfectly conched, it moves to the tempering stage. This process gives Dove chocolate its glossy appearance and satisfying snap. The chocolate is slowly heated and cooled in the tempering machine, aligning its fat molecules and ensuring a stable crystal structure. Step 10. Molding. As tempered chocolate flows out of the machine, it is poured into different shapes and sizes of molds. Step 11. Cooling. These molds are then sent on a conveyor belt, passing through a cooling tunnel, and then sets the chocolate into its final form. Step 12. Packaging. In an automated packaging line, the chocolates are carefully placed into individual wrappers and neatly arranged into the familiar foil-wrapped packages on store shelves. Step 13. Shipping. The packaged batches are now ready to be shipped to distributors worldwide via truck or air freight. Now you must think, why is this chocolate produced under the trade name Dove, sold as Galaxy, in Europe? Well, it turns out there was already a chocolate brand called Dove in Europe, so Mars Inc. had to choose a different name for its product. Also, the name Galaxy appeals more to the European consumers due to its relevance with space. Well, that's all for today. In the comments section, let us know your favorite Dove chocolate. Mine is dark chocolate with almonds. Thank you for watching this episode. Hit like and subscribe for new videos.